So, but when you experience it directly, it's your direct experience, then there is tremendous power behind it. There's a lot of power against behind when you're teaching something that is coming from your direct experience. Don't move around too much. Now, why, so when you start to shift your consciousness, this is a shift. This is sort of an ascension from a third dimensional way of thinking, a third dimensional way of being that you've been trained to look at things from that way is now your consciousness is shifting. There's a shift happening here that you're looking and you're believing of one way of seeing it. This is the tunnel of your reality. You're looking at things from this tunnel of reality. And all of your life, you've been looking at it from that way. And all of a sudden, suddenly something happens, whatever it is, whether it's a shock treatment, um, an accident happened, you had a tragic situation, you lost somebody, you have had a car accident, um, you lost financially, you lost someone very close to you. Um, something shifts, whatever it is, or you had a tremendous, uh, an incredible shift in your spiritual practice. And then your consciousness brought, it widens. And all of a sudden you start to, whether you met somebody, you read a book, you sat with a teacher, whatever is the situation, you came to the academy, whatever it is. There's a number of different things can happen. And all of a sudden something shifted and an opening happens and you're open to these teachings. And in that opening, you widen your perspective and you start to look at it differently. And something inside you says, yes. And you say, you know what? Why don't I give this a try? and see what happens. What do I have to lose that I'm not gonna lose anyway? I've tried this all of my life and this is where I am and I'm still suffering. I'm still afraid. I'm still really in fear and anxiety of the unknown. And especially right now with what has happened it's a perfect scenario, perfect recipe for this. So everything I believed I know, and I did, I'm a good person. I paid my taxes. I didn't cheat on my family. I didn't cheat on the government. I'm a vegan. I'm vegetarian. I practice my I wake up at five in the morning and I do my pujas and I meditate and and do everything right. And all of a sudden, the rug is pulled under my feet and my world is crashing. i am lost my business. I'm losing a lot of money. Maybe my partner left me. Blah, 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 blah. A number of different things happening. And the world that you have constructed or it's been constructed around you, all of a sudden, you start to realize it was built on the sand and now it's crashing down and, and it's being destroyed. And something is triggered inside you because all the stuff that you have studied and you've invested into is none of them are helping you. None of them are saving your world. And you're just wondering what the hell is going on. 
what's up with this one? What's happening? I thought I'm the author of my own life. I thought I can create, you know, me, I'm powerful. I can create things, but no matter how hard I've been trying, everything is falling apart. And now with this pandemic, we're forced to stay home. Right now it opened up a little bit, but it will come back according to what they're telling us. So why is this happening? Now we're going to go back in our cells again. It's like prison cells for another six months or seven months. Why is that happening? What's going on? What's going to happen to the world? What's going to happen to the economy of the world? What's going to happen to me? Basically, me. That's the question. What's going to happen to me? Excuse me. Is this closed? That door, I don't think, is completely closed. Oh, that the router's outside. Okay. So, <clears throat> what's going to happen to me? Me means the I, the I thought. Me as an individual separated from the world, what's going to happen to this guy, to this girl, me? The I, the I thought, the person, this person who's separated from the whole. What's going to happen to her, to him? It's very, very frightening. Very, very frightening situation to be in. And that's the question we're all asking. Everybody's asking, what's going to happen to me, to my world, to this world? But all is related to me. It all comes back to this person. So let's take a deep breath for a moment and just sit with this. What's going to happen to me? Why is everything like this? Is this the end of the world? Or is this the end of me? What's coming to an end? Whose foundation is really being shaken? Who is being really challenged right now? It's my world. The world that it appears to be real. It's the reality that seem like to be real. It's being challenged and it seems like getting rocked. And it's changing very quickly. The world as I knew it is changing to something else. What used to be normal is disappeared and a new normal is taking over. <clears throat> 